Let's take a video tour around Forms Boss Web so that you can see how this uh, online version of our software works. You're looking right now at our login screen, which is located, as you notice, at www.formsbossweb.com. You'll be able to just enter your username and password here. and click login. It will automatically bring you to the customer screen and it will show on screen the last customer that you entered. Um, in order to change any information about your agency, I wanted to draw your attention here to the edit menu where you can get edit agency info. If you select that option, you'll see all of the information about your agency listed here. Um, you cannot change your agency name. You'll notice that. Uh, you can't change that from your end. If you need to change your agency name for some reason, you would need to give us a call so that we can do that uh, because it has to match what we have in our records. But you can change your address and phone number, fax, email, code and subcode. Um, and even your password um, if you need to there. Um, so you would make any changes um, that you would need to here uh, in the Edit Agency Info screen. And when you had finished making those changes, you would just click Update. For some of those changes to take effect, you may need to close out of your browser window and log back in again depending on what it was that you changed. So if you notice that you go into a form and, and something has not changed that you just updated, then you may just need to close out of your browser and, and open it back up and log in again. Let me show you what each of these buttons across the top of the screen does. This first button, the Add Customer button, if you click that, it will give you a blank fresh screen to add a brand new customer. When you finish typing in the information for that customer's record, you want to click Save Customer so that it will save the data that you just entered for that customer. This Refresh Record button is just for if another user who's logged into your same agency account has entered information on another computer, you would be able to click Refresh Record and it would update any records that uh, someone else might have entered on another computer to your computer. This delete customer button obviously um, just deletes a customer that you had entered and it will ask you if you do for sure want to delete the customer. I, I will mention that if I had added forms for this customer it would require me to delete each of the forms individually first uh, before it would allow me to delete the customer. Um, you cannot delete a customer that has forms uh, saved to their record. But since I don't have any forms here I can just click yes and it has deleted that customer and taken me back to the previous customer. This Find Customer tool is a great search mechanism for finding any customers that you have saved in the program. Let me show you how that works. You'll have the option of searching for your customers either by commercial name, first name, or last name. So you'll select one of those filters and then you just type at least one character or you can type the whole name um, here to do a search. And then click the search button. And you'll see that it has listed for me all of the customers in my uh, database whose first names start with the letter J. Um, so that is the full list and I can select um, the customer that I wanted to find from this list. 
and it will take me to that customer. This add form button brings up a list of all of the accord forms, so this is where you'll spend a lot of your time in Forms Boss Web. Here's your list of accord forms, and you can search for the form that you're looking for by typing either the number or a word from the title in this search characters box at the top. So let's say that I'm looking for um, a certificate of liability insurance, which is form number 25. I can just type 25, wait for a second, and it will filter out every form that does not have the number 25 in it, and you'll see that certificate of liability insurance listed there. Let's say I didn't know what number that certificate was. I could just type in the word certificate, and it would filter out uh, every form that doesn't have that word in the title. And there again, I found my certificate. If I scroll down here, you can see at the bottom of the screen you have this optional description field. That's just so that you can enter a, a title for this um, form that you're adding, just so that you'll be able to remember which one this is. So for instance, if you're adding a certificate, you may want to just put like the certificate holder's name here so that you'll remember that that's uh, what that form is linked to. Once you've added your description, you can just click Open, and it will load the form for you. So here's my Certificate of Liability Insurance. You'll notice that it already has your agency information filled in as well as your customer's information filled in the appropriate places for that data. So you will be able then to just type into this uh, form and fill it out on screen. You can navigate between fields by pushing the tab key on your keyboard. You'll notice that many of the fields are just regular typing fields. Uh, but there are also some fields that are checkboxes. Down here you'll see these checkboxes. If you come to a checkbox um, that you want to have checked, there are two ways to do that. You can either just click on it to check it, or if you tab to the checkbox, um, you can use the space bar to check it, or you can also use the enter key to check or uncheck it. There are some fields that require a specific uh, format, such as some date fields will require you to enter your data in the format listed. If I had entered um, the data in a in the incorrect format here it would give me an error message and tell me that I had to enter it correctly once you've filled out this form you'll want to come up here to the top and click this gray save button that's the button that you have to use in order to sa save the data to our server uh, so that you can access it again when you log back on so you just click save and it will say your form data has been saved. You can click Close Window. And Internet Explorer or whatever browser you're using may send you a message saying that you're trying to close the window. You'll just click Yes. And it will take you back to the customer screen. You will see listed then at the bottom of the screen that uh, record, that that form that you just added will be listed uh, amongst the other forms there at the bottom of the screen. Let me show you how this forms listing works. 
the categories across the top here allow you to sort um, your forms in different ways. So I can click on this date entered and it will sort my forms according to the date entered. It will put them in chronological order. Or if I want to sort by form name, I would just click there and it will put them in alphabetical order. Or by form description, it will put them in alphabetical order by the form description. These buttons across to the right here allow you to do different things with each of these forms. If you wanted to edit a form, you would just click on this button next to the form that you were choosing. And it would open the form right back up for you and allow you to make any changes that you needed to make. I want to draw your attention while I'm in this form to this reset button at the top. The reset button is a handy feature for when you want to start fresh with a form but you don't want to click it accidentally because it will clear out any information that you've entered on this form. Let me click that and show you what it does. So you'll see that it blanks out all of the information except for um, the agency information and the customer information um, and the policy number that you've entered there. Um, so any in other information that you would have entered into this form would be blanked out when you click that reset button. So let's click save again and I'll show you some more things on the customer screen. If I wanted to delete a form, I would just click the delete button next to that form. It will ask me uh, for confirmation of that uh, choice and I would just click delete and it would take that form off of the list. If I wanted to copy a form I would just click this button here beside the form that I was choosing and I can add a different optional description for the copied form. I can also choose to copy the form to a, the current customer or copy it to a different customer. I'm going to go ahead and choose current customer. So there you'll see that it copied the form and it's listed there. If I wanted to go in and fill out that form, I would just click the edit form button. This export option um, allows you to pull up a static copy of your form, so a copy that's already filled in with your information that you can't make any changes to any longer. Let me show you what that looks like. So you'll see that it produced that form for me um, and it, had, it would have all the information that you had entered into the form filled in, uh, but you can't actually fill in uh, information any any longer because you're in the export mode now but what this feature is handy for is if you wanted to save a copy to your computer or if you wanted to email uh, this form or print it out um, that's what that export feature is is very handy for so we can just close out of the uh, exported form and go back to the customer screen You'll see here under the Help menu of Forms Boss Web that you have access to this tutorial if you ever needed to watch it again. And you have uh, your Accord Instructions Guide. Those are the official instructions for each form from Accord. And you also have um, a Contact Us option. So here you could see um, our phone number and email addresses if you ever needed to get in touch with us here at Forms Boss. So that gives you a basic idea of how the Forms Boss Web software operates. If you had any further questions, again, you could just contact us uh, at our tech support phone number, and we would be happy to serve you. Let me show you how to use the signature feature of Forms Boss Web. The first thing you need to do is actually scan in a real signature. Uh, let me show you some tips about um, how to scan and crop your signatures appropriately.
use whatever normal scanning software you have and just scan the picture. You want to make sure that it will save as a JPEG, a JPG file. And make sure you save it in a location that you know where it will be. So choose where to save it. And give the file a name. Uh, one way to name your signatures is just with the name of the person um, whose signature it is. Once your paper is scanned, you want to make sure to crop just the signature. So this particular paper has more than one signature on it, but we only want this last signature. So we're going to make our software, our scanning software, select only the space just for that signature. Um, it, even if this signature were the only one on the page, we would want to make sure that we only select just the small area right around it. Um, our software will resize the signature according to the uh, space on the forms, but if you have an entire page saved as your signature, then the actual signature part is going to be very small uh, within the resizing. So you want your signature to kind of take up the whole space pretty much of what you are um, cropping here. And once you've got it sized correctly, you can click over here and you'll see that that's the signature that we're going to save. So we have saved a signature. Now let me show you how to use that signature in Forms Boss. You'll log into your Forms Boss account and uh, choose the customer that you're wanting to work with. Go to the Find Customer and pick one. Then you want to find a form in your list that you want to add signatures for. We're going to use the uh, auto application here. And then you just click the signature button next to the form that you're wanting to add a signature for. And you'll see this dialog box that allows you to select a producer signature or a customer signature. We're going to use the one that we just scanned as a producer signature. So we're going to click Add Edit next to the producer selection. We don't want to use any of these ones that we already have in here. We want to add a new signature. So we click New Signature. First we give the signature a name. Then click Browse.
and navigate to where you have your signature saved. When you open the signature, you'll notice that it puts the name of the file right here so that you can see it. You're not quite done with this screen, however. Then you need to click Upload so that it actually will load the signature in. Now you see that it populated the actual signature down here below. So this signature is ready to be selected for the form. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll see that the signature that we added appears here. We're going to click OK on this screen and then go to this producer uh, selection here and there's the signature that we want. Let me show you again how that procedure works with the customer um, signature. We're going to add edit a customer signature. Select new signature. Click well, first we'll give it a name. Click Browse. Select the signature. Click Open. Then click Upload. Click OK. Then click OK again. And then from the customer selector here, we select the one that we just added, then click OK. Now, the signatures have been added for this particular form, but in order to actually see those signatures, you have to look at the form in export mode. So let's go here with this form and click export. When it loads the form in export mode, you'll be able to find the signatures on the form. And here they are on the final, in the final pages. You'll see that the customer signature appears several times on this form and the uh, producer signature appears there as well. So you'll be able to print out this form uh, with the signatures already uh, in the appropriate places. One thing that I did want to note for you is that when you are adding signatures for various forms, the selections here for producer and customer, um, the producer selection will have every producer that you have added 
into the program. So no matter what screen, no matter what customer that you've added that producer for, all of the producers will be listed here when you go in to select a signature. The customer, however, is a different. So the customer selector only applies to this customer. So you can add several signatures for this customer, but when you go to a different customer, those signatures will not be available in your pull down selector here when you're adding signatures. So you can access the producers from any of the customers, but the uh, customer uh, signatures are specific to that particular customer. So that's how you use the signature feature of Forms Boss Web.